Kitchen, we pay points. If anyone was nodding off in this place, <laughs> Mohammed's just woken them up. A trademark moment from Mohammed Layani. The call of the line of mind did not disturb play. Did you say you give them points, yeah? Mr. Medvedev with good sportsmanship is awarding the point to Mr. Zinner. Just like that, the crowd love him. <laughs> <laughs> well, an interesting time to scamper out. Well, I think Shapovalov's saying you can have the first serve, but Nadal's saying no, it's final. Go with the second. Sasha Zverev, isn't it nice to see the two friends sitting next to each other? Not often you see that. Now they can relax. He has not stopped smiling at Francis Tiafo. You need people like Tifo in the locker room over a long season. You can imagine he is centre of attention at times. Well, it's wonderful. Uh, like a couple of school kids. One of the great matches, one of the great comebacks from Zverev. He's not wrong. Unbelievable when they play. Oh, well, that's a heavy fall. <laughs> I think he says I'm OK, I'm just relaxing. And Grigor quickly round to, to help him up, but that did look a, a pretty nasty one. And once again, I need a bit of that uh, strapping yeah, cut off. It's flapping around, and it's just, I think it's just putting <laughs> Ramos from us off. Yeah, I think that's what he was suggesting. There we go. Last year, the semis in Monte Carlo a few weeks ago. Great play, great topspin, by the way. And quite right from Sasha Bublik at Masters 1000 level. What do you mean? You're not a human, man. You're 15 years old and you play like this. Good job. Well, there we go. Ultimate respect from Alexander Bublik, who threw everything 
at this kid today. That's a beautiful moment, isn't it? Yeah, it most certainly is. What a man to have to look up to, to learn lessons from. Uh, that's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. It's the ankle. It just seemed to give way underneath him, Davidovich Fakina. He looks into in some difficulty here. Urquhart's immediately asking if he's OK, and he's come over to to see if he is. That looked nasty. Break point up. So he's just going to quite rightly take a, a few minutes. Playing so well. That will hurt. If he's turned his ankle, I'll hopefully have another look at it in a moment, but it's the right ankle you can see there. And if Particularly quick to read it. Oh. Oh, is he Oh, has he gone over on his left ankle there, Bautista Agut? Tell me. No, no, I know. That's why I came. Tell me. It is that left ankle, isn't it, John? You want to try to stand, stand up? You want to try to stand up? I think I'm good. You think? Yeah. Okay. But I twist. I don't know, I know, I know. I think I'm I'm good. You, you want to try? Yeah, this, this. You want to try to stand up or inside. come? I think Tony went inside there. That. Just to try, try to stand up and then we see, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we see. Okay? Yeah. The crowd appreciating the sportsmanship of team to uh, come over and assist yeah. his opponent. Look at Mager, was the player who was back inside the top 100 this week. After winning the challenger in Marbella. He's number 10 in terms of getting back inside the top 100. Yeah. Well, that's very, very sporting of Berenay because that was going to be a second serve all the way. He actually looked at it, told the champion to come down and take a look. Nicely done. Conceding that that was double bounce. Goal that time, Del Bonis. Bit of angle to that previous shot. Nadal out wide. I've called. I've, you okay? I've called the physio if you need. Oh, I thought that was wide. I think the Dal did as well, and Norrie. In fact, they even tell Carlos Bernardo is not to even bother. Sportsmanship from Nadal. I've seen that a few times this week from various players. Francis Tiafo springs to mind. He actually conceded a, a set point. Juicing the quality. Good enough to finish the job. 6-2 in the third. Well, that was some performance. That's a nice touch. The Nadal camp coming over to the Rublev camp and 
congratulating his coach. And you win. See you. Okay, receiving. Stay. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Class act team, isn't he? Oh, what a good luck down towards his opponent. Well, that's unbelievable. As he checks the mark now, hang on a second. No, it wasn't, he says. Well, he's been impressive in all departments, hasn't he? But especially his sportsmanship. Replay the points. And he gets the approval of his coach, Juan Carlos Ferreira. Be checked quickly down from his perch, Christian Rask. And I think he's been sent back by Milman, saying it's absolutely fine. So we'll replay the point. Replay the point. Rubs out the mark. Calls long. Sportsmanship yet again from Djokovic. There might be some players who would sort of hang around, hope that the umpire would find a different mark. Quick intervention from the world number one. So we'll go again. I found the line there. Didn't look long taking a long look which usually means it has just caught the line and I think he's suggesting it has that very honest guy is uh, Cam Norrie yeah, accepting off the court just nicking the line yeah I think Evans has admitted that it just bounced twice before he was able to get that one back that is good sportsmanship because that was very difficult to tell. Manorino wasn't going to take any risks there. He was going to... <sighs> Not far away. He's, He's going to have a look. Oh, oh I yeah. think the pair's given the safe sign. He's conceded, has he? Must, well, I think he might as well get Murray to challenge. No, he did. Yeah, he it. has. He's on top of it. Yeah. Oh, oh, goodness me. I hope he's OK. <laughs> They're good friends, these two. Let's take a closer look at exactly what happened. Dude. <laughs> well, almost every match you see Davidovic for Kina play, he spends at least 30 seconds or so on the floor. Oh. 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 
checking. I think, yeah, no, but accepting it was right on the line. Yeah, it's good sportsmanship, isn't it? We've seen several examples this week of players. Bizarre point. Oh, I, I thought that was a nut up. He clearly thinks so. He stopped playing, really, didn't he? Mm, it looked fairly clear to me. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely, it was a double bounce. Oh, he's conceding oh, that's the point. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Egg on face, I'm afraid, for Fergus Murphy, but uh, very good from Pablo Andaha, conceding the point and roundly applauded here. Well, and quality was a good one. Blister. Didn't didn't look like a twist, did it? No. I think he might have just cut something on his inside of his foot there. Maybe he's landed heavily. Correction from the line judge to that call. Yeah. It's a bit late now, Andre, after I called the score, replay the point. You want to let him challenge? Yeah. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> the ball's put in. Yeah. You may not like what I did, but look what a good guy I am. I'm looking forward to the handshake at the end. Yeah. Full stands. Mr. Rubnov has two challenges remaining. Yeah, it's good honesty from Marcel Grenoyers there. I think we're done. It is tough to watch, to watch Berrettini go through these kind of emotions on what was such a big occasion for the popular Italian. The worst possible outcome after a, a thrilling first set that was full of drama, but eventually went the way of Zverev. And their love, but you know, that one take the edge off the, the, the pain, the agony of having to retire. You could see him look to his team to say, I can't even keep going at 50%. You know, I want to, I want to play here, but his body's not letting him. Nice touch from Zverev, applauding him off the court. The embrace after he retired. You know, obviously, congrats to you and, uh, and your team. Um, you know, tennis needs you, really needs you. So uh, thanks for... Staying here in, uh, in tough moments uh, like this without crowd. I know you, you don't like that, but uh, you know, soon uh, everything hopefully is going to be normal. So good luck to you. I think, well, well, 
Oh, this is still going on. Eventually, that's uh, Andrew Rublev.